Hi guys, this is Juicy Lips 247 and I am here to do a review on this amazing mold rubber. Um, it's not the putty, it's actually, this is the rubber, you guys can see that. I actually bought this at Hobby Lobby for $19.99 and used the coupon so I got it half off. And um, I wanted to try it out because I was looking at the pictures and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And as you can see, there's more pictures. You can actually put the whole item and you get all that detail. And I will show you exactly what this is for. Um, so in here, you get instructions. You get this. You get... Um, two of these cups there's two of them there and you get this and the only thing else that I am missing is um, the catalyst and the catalyst I already used it but it's a small bottle like this and you dump it in here it's pink and it activates the whole um, rubber this is actually the rubber and see how it says amazing mold rubber and this is the base so <sighs> I searched a couple YouTube videos and I even went to their the moldputty.com and website to see how you know how this works exactly and to me the way I kind of got it is that it's best to do the whole product and use the whole product than doing it little by little by little um, hey if you use little by little by little no problem but me personally I I prefer this the whole the whole thing so what you do is just dump the whole catalyst in here and just mix 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 I think you have like a 20 minute window to mix 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 everything good and then you have to pour and then you have to let it cure for two to four hours I actually did it overnight because I was close to the four hours but I still had an hour remaining for it to complete the four hours and I just got tired because I did this last night and what I did is let me show you guys I ended up molding. I've been wanting to mold some items. So what I used is this is an iced tea thing and I cut it in half. So I used two of them, the bottom half and the top half. And I wanted to mold some items. I wanted to mold. I am obsessed with these frames from Prima. As you can see, look how very intricate work on this is beautiful. So I wanted to mold that. And then I wanted to mold their beautiful angels that they have and see all the intricate detailing on their wings and then this angel which is beautiful and then I'm like well you know what let me do this this is um a dress form also from them and this frame right here and then I also wanted to I bought these I got from Miriam's crafting supply store if you guys know about Miriam and then these, I went to the Prima warehouse because um, it's here, local to me and Chino. And these are little domes of resin and then they put the little paper in the back. And I'm like, you know what, I could do these anytime I want. I just need a mold. So I'm like, you know what, let me stick them. So what I did is I ended up sticking them in the middle so I could use as much because then the middle is going to be empty. So I'm like, you know what, let me make a double mold. So that's what I ended up doing. So I, what you have to do, just so you are aware, is... You have to stick your items at the bottom. So what I did is I took the top off. I glued all my pieces and you glue them up because you're going to pour. So you have to make sure you glue them very, very well. If not, your mold will, the liquid, see how there's glue. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay, well there's glue back here. But what happens is the mold of the amazing rubber gets underneath and then you have to kind of cut it out i'll show you once i show you the molds um and then you just pour and then after you pour you kind of want to level over it because this is what you're going to keep bending and bending bending so you don't want it to mess up on you so let me show you what my molds look like and um these are my molds they are pink it's like a baby pink really cool and I poured this amazing casting this is the super fast one the one that turns white so I had poured it on here so you guys can see um, when I mold it how it looks I haven't taken them off so so this is what I was trying to tell you see how I used um, one of them I just left it in here 
but that's what it is see that's the little round one with the resin in it i have uh, this is just one of them i haven't poured resin because i want to use those for clear resin but and then i did a second one because remember i told you i pulled i did two i did the top and half this one's thicker because i did this i used the tim holtz light bulb you can see the glue so i wanted to make a mold of this when i use clear resin and it's pretty big but here i'm gonna tell you what happened to me i poured not enough on this side so can you see let me see if you guys can see it okay hopefully you guys can see it see this kind of bluish color bluish yeah like a purpley blue right here that means that my mold is not thick enough see how you can see my finger so if i kept poking you know when i push and i push i'm gonna pop this and the cool thing about this um amazing rubber is that you can buy a second one and pour it on top and it adheres to it so it's really really cool you don't have to waste and look how thick this one's pretty thick because of the mold that i used but let me show you so this is another resin piece that i use from prima um so let me remove because so this is the angel and i how cool is this look how to the detail and this is what i like is when you have intricate little pieces the rubber kind of molds over it you can see it hugged it over it and it's cool because okay what i had to do is i had like a thin layer of this rubber over it so i went with my exacto knife and cut it just so i could see you know in there and that's what you have to do because you could see, kind of see over here kind of a little cut it a little too much <laughs> but you do that's what i'm telling you You have to make sure you glue your pieces so this is one of my pieces and look how amazing that is hopefully you guys can see that okay so that's the angel here's another angel and look how awesome so i could get that one for you guys too how cool is that and look it does it hugs over it so this would be perfect like if um you have other items that you want detailing here's another one perfect awesome and look they're thick they're like what you would do normally so i have to tell you i love this product yes my mold is big but you know what i have a whole bunch of pieces so i am happy okay my next mold awesome look it does everything detailed cool okay my frame and i have to tell you they pop out so easy no you don't have to spray them nothing this is another of those frames i'm like obsessed with them okay this is the one it just pops out like it just pops out very cool look the whole detail of that frame is on there which is so cool so if you guys were wondering if you really wanted to use this i love it let me tell you now i have a mold for all the ones i wanted and it's flexible and also if you guys are into jelly plates or i don't know if you guys are into jelly plates but you if you are this kind of kind of you could do it as a jelly plate because it's hard and then so you can just you know roll with your hair and then just use it this is like a semi jelly plate so you could use that too hey multi-function and um if you have any questions or comments please let me know down below and i will gladly answer them for you also just want to share real quick look at my bracelet i am obsessed with these little russian little dolls and i did this bracelet myself how cool is that i know i'm getting out of the subject but that's it thank you for watching have a wonderful and blessed day bye